I'm Kevin Yolvisacker with Smithers Oasis on the Idea Channel. I'm here today with my really good friend and design director teammate Frank Faza. And Frank is working on something really cool and amazing that we're really proud of, and it's the foam tiles. And Frank, tell me, how did you put this all together? Well, it really was pretty easy. We used hook and loop to attach this to this board. And you could actually attach it to any sort of piece of plywood or anything that could be suspended from the ceiling. But the, the hook and loop is available at like a, a big box store or a home improvement store. And we attach it right to the back of this box. Is that what you've got here? Exactly. We have it attached to, to uh, first to the, the actual 18 by 24 floral foam tile. And then this would come off, and you'd attach this to whatever it is where you're putting the tile um, on. So and this piece is actually on the back of the plywood here. Exactly. On the front of the plywood. And right. it has a, a sticky surface, and you, you place it on. And if you wanted additional security, you could use staples to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. But it's really pretty sturdy, oh. and the tiles really stay put very, very well. And then after you get that, I assume you put this on first. Then do you soak this? Uh, we soaked it first. And then we put it um, on the Velcro. Then put it on. Exactly. And how do I soak this? What's, what do I put this in? You could, there's a number of different ways that you can do it. If you don't have something big enough to soak it, uh, you can take it um, and, and put it in a sink and drip water in it and get it to absorb water. But if you can find a sink large enough or some sort of a large tub, that would be the best way. Put the tiles down and let it uh, absorb the water. Oh, OK, face down. Also, this, this has this, um, this patented um, tile uh, sort of edge that, that so many um, Smithers pieces have that will protect the, uh, the water from coming out of these individual areas. Like for instance, if this was one piece, the water might really go to the bottom at one point. And this, what this is going to do is, is keep the water in these tiles and keep the flowers hydrated. And then after you, so you've got it all soaked here now, do I build it on my table? I, I see you've done, you, we did a couple of them. We've got one that's going to be on the web and I know you did that flat. Or because you've got a pattern here, do you build it up? Either way, it doesn't matter. I think it's probably easier to build it in place. Not that you'd have to do that. I mean, you could do it on a table, but it's easier to get the perspective of what you're doing if it's in place and you can put the flowers right in. And then you're not having to actually place it with all the flowers on it and, and so forth. And I think it just makes it a little bit easier to, to get really fun and funky and do whatever you want to do. And you notice I've been using carnations and, and this uh, flat wire. And what I've done, I really wanted that really strong sort of line. That's nice. And it's really hard to do that without having something to, to stop the, the two carnations. And, and this is nothing more than snake wire, wide snake wire, actually three pieces. I've taken two of them and uh, you glued them together with you glue strips. Okay. And then I put one in the center, so there's three pieces. And it's, it's a relatively large piece that ends up being about this wide. And you push it right in the foam and then you have that really nice sort of a clean um, difference between whatever it is you're working on. So that on. whole line is just that piece just pushed into the foam to give exactly. me a line. Exactly, and it's, uh, it's just pushed right into the foam. Um, and also, I, I think that this really lends itself. Now, I, I basically have the background finished here, but yeah. I'm going to be taking some, some really exotic line materials, giving some sort of connection between these two colors. I mean, you could just sure, have a great sure. time with your, your design by you know, placing it. Uh, right, you have the foam. You can place this anthurium right in the foam and just make it dramatic. Wow, and it's going to last long. I know it's Oasis Floral Foam Max Life in this, mm -hmm. so it's going to last a long time. I know you've done other ones, and they've held up great mm -hmm. using yeah. all the flowers. And make sure that, that um, you place flower food in the water before you soak it. Of course, that's, that's absolutely the best way uh, to, to keep the flowers lasting the, their uh, longest. I know so. we talked earlier, besides the Velcro too, I could actually just use um, screws, like you know wood mm -hmm. screws, and screw that onto exactly. a, a plywood base. Like we said, if we want that bigger, like a background wall at a wedding right. if we wanted. Exactly. I think there's so many options that you could do with this. It's not that you have to use uh, one particular method to attach it to anything, yeah. but the, the, the event work um, Applications are limitless, and I, I think it's a great a great way to. Can I cut this? Can you I, could can, absolutely. You could it score it and cut it. Absolutely, there's no reason why you couldn't do that. Wow. So, so I think we can use it for a lot of events, mm -hmm. a lot of great ideas. Um, I know that you want to see this finished. You want to see what Frank comes up with. You're going to find that on the web as well. So make sure that you look for the finished piece that Frank's created. It's been fun working with Frank. And again, I'm Kevin Yolvisacker. And I'm Frank Faza for Smithers Oasis Idea Channel.